Hi there! Thank you for joining us for another video in our how to series. Valerie from Motopress is here and in this video you learn what WordPress caching is, how caching can help improve website load times, and how to implement it on your WordPress website. But before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications that will let you know when there are new videos from us. So, without further delay, let's get started. To begin with, caching is the storing of frequently used data so it can be accessed swiftly. In WordPress, rendering or fetching a page or post or custom post type requires back and forth queries to be sent to and from the database. On most occasions, you will create a page or post and then you won't be updating it every day, right? Caching creates static copies of your content and serves that to users. This way, the back and forth queries can be avoided. In that way, decreasing the server load. There are various advantages of caching in WordPress, and the first thing I should mention is that cached websites provide a better user experience overall. So caching improves your SEO and enhances the performance and speed of your site. Consequently, faster websites get a favorable rank with search engines, by the way, Google's recommended load time is two or less seconds. But how do we enable caching in WordPress? As you may guess, the most effortless way to do so is with the help of plugins. And there are several free and premium plugins out there, and today uh, we shall take a look at WP SuperCache. WP Super Cache is the most popular free cache plugin at WordPress.org. It also comes from Automatic, the same team behind WordPress.com, WooCommerce, and Jetpack. Impressed already? The plugin has over 2 million active installs. WP Super Cache makes a copy of each page on your site in the form of a static HTML file. And this ensures that your website is served quickly to those who open it. If you have previously installed any other caching plugin, you should disable and remove it. In general, double caching is not recommended and can create conflicts that could slow down your WordPress website, and we don't want it for sure. First, you need to install and activate the WP SuperCache plugin. Then, it will alert you when your activation is complete that caching has not been enabled for your site. So, you should go to Settings, Super Cache. Uh, next, click the caching on option under the easy tab and after you have done this click on the update status button the big benefit of wp super cache is simplicity and if you want you can just turn the caching functionality on and that's all fox however you also have the option to configure a few more advanced settings but before it, let's check if caching is working. For this, we need the cache tester section. I'm going to click on the test cache button. And what's going on during this process? WP Super Cache will retrieve your site twice and compare the timestamps for both pages. And if the timestamps match, uh, this indicates that caching is active, everything is alright, everything is working. 
To set up W Super Cache with advanced options, so go to the Advanced tab and make sure the checkbox for Enable Caching is checked. Below Caching, you'll see options for Cache Delivery Method. We recommend using uh, the simple option. If you're a newbie and you haven't dealt with editing your server files, so it's better opt for simple. Uh, after that, we are going to work with the miscellaneous section and check the boxes that say compress pages so they are served faster to visitors. So to make them more accessible, next, cache rebuild. This function will show an older cached version of the site when a new cache file is generated. Uh, also, I'd recommend activating a 304 browser caching, and this tells the browser if a page is updated since the browser last requested it, and if the page is updated, the browser recaches the new files from the site, and if the page is not updated, the browser loads files from the visitor's local storage. So this function provides a significant performance boost. And if you want to keep certain parts of a web page dynamic uh, during caching, you can enable dynamic caching by clicking the checkbox that says Enable Dynamic Caching, especially if your site has pages with frequently changing content. Now let's update the status. Uh, now we want to scroll down to the expiry time and garbage collection section. So the cache timeout tells the plugin to remove the cache page and perform a fresh cache. So for standard websites, you can increase the number to 3600 seconds and then don't forget to change expiration. By default, the plugin will cache all the pages on your site. However, WP Super Cache allows you to have pages that you don't want to be cached. Um, for example, dynamic pages like products uh, and checkouts should not be cached, so you can make some adjustments here. So, and don't forget to save settings button. Next, by going to the Content tab, uh, you can view detailed statistics about how much content you have stored in your cache. Moreover, you can choose to either delete the expired cache or delete all cache files. Next comes the Preload tab. Preload allows the plugin to go through each of your pages on an interval and generate static HTML. So for a small site, this is perfect as it means your content will be served extremely fast. You must set the interval to at least 30 minutes. However, we recommend a higher number. And I will set up our internal to generate content every uh, 24 hours. You can also enable preloads for different tags, categories, and other taxonomies on your website. So the plugin also offers an option to get email alerts whenever your files are refreshed. And as usual, don't forget to save settings. After that, uh, you can click on the plugins to enable or disable some functions. So it depends uh, on on the plugins you have installed and activated on your website. So choose according to your need. We have one more tab. To be more precise, it's a CDN. So uh, Content Delivery Network. And it's a great way of boosting your website's performance. So it lets you store static content on a network of servers, spread all over the world, uh, serving it from location closest to the user. So frankly speaking, setting up the CDN with WP Super Cache is not a compulsory program for beginners, so it will require some experience with CDNs. 
An easy method will be with Cloudflare. Consequently, if you use Cloudflare, you don't need to do any additional configuration to WordPress super caches settings in terms of CDN. If you want us to make a video on how to set up Cloudflare's free CDN on your WordPress site, let us know. And if you use another content delivery network, however, you will need to make a few changes. Obviously, you would need uh, to mark the Enable CDN support checkbox, but you need to set some parameters first. You need the offsite URL and the additional C names, which can be obtained from your CDN provider. Today's tutorial wouldn't be complete if I didn't show you the effectiveness of the plugin. I'm going to use a free tool to test and monitor the page's performance. For the first experiment, I switched the caching off, deactivated WP SuperCache, and tried to collect some cache on my site. I've added a couple of new pages and posts with new blocks and widgets uploaded some images, and so on. GT Matrix breakdowns your page performance into a summarized report so we get a detailed assessment. And this is the final result of the site's performance without caching functionality. In contrast, now we'll find out how the site performs when caching is on. Needless to say, the benefits of caching are undeniable. To sum up, website speed is crucial nowadays, and caching data is a great way of reducing load times. And WordPress plugins like WP SuperCache make the solution much more obtainable. From this tutorial, you may have noticed WP SuperCache is a simple plugin but it offers good scope for customization either for newbies or professionals. And if you're new to caching in WordPress and are looking for a plugin that is under steady development, WP SuperCache is the perfect fit for you. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If so, please drop a like. And if you have any questions, leave us a comment down below. We always enjoy your comments and try to respond to each of them. Do check out the show notes down below for some useful links. And don't forget to join us on social media like Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. It's a great way to be up to date with news from Motopress. I wish you guys the best and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.